What's up everybody, this is Pastor G. I'm excited about talking to you, the blessed person or the person that is the possessor of the blessing. Yeah, that's you because God has given you the blessing. There's a word that I've been, that's really been floating around in my head the last couple of days. It's called event. And I want to bring some definition to this word and hopefully it'll bless you because it blessed me. The definition of event is this, something that happens or is regarded as happening an occurrence, right? Something that has happened is happening or is just an occurrence. It can happen, an event can happen quarterly, it can happen yearly, biannually, happen every 10 years or every four years. But it's just an event. Let's, now let's look at this word. An event or an occurrence could be something like a vacation. A vacation, yeah. Vacation is a good one. Vacation is something that happens every year Depending on how long you've been on your job, it could happen in one week, two weeks, or some of you've been there a while, it could be even three weeks. But we know something. At the end of that time, we have to go back to work or go back to life as usual. Man, it would be great if we could spend every day of the year 365 days in vacation, on vacation, but we can't. Let's look at something that's called a class reunion. It happens sometimes every year or by biannually. You know how excited we are about our class reunion. We're going to get to see some people we ain't seen in a long time. So we go on our diets. We do all this stuff. We get our new hair. We do all these things because we're excited about the people we're going to see. But we notice once we go to our class reunion, there'll come a time when everything is over. We have to return to our life because it's just an event or an occurrence. Let's talk about Super Bowl, who people say is the greatest, one of the greatest events of the year, the Super Bowl. It's huge takes a lot of time to prepare for it so it takes a lot of time to clean up as well but after that day is over no matter how large the event is and no matter how excited no matter how many things go on doing it there's a time that is going to be over and everybody's gonna to have to go back home and then there's what you call a cleanup period depending on how how huge the event is the reason why I'm saying this now this is why I'm defining this word event because we got to get clarity here Event is something that has happened, that's maybe happening now, or it is an occurrence. We might have planned it, we might not have planned it. There are some of you that are going through some events in your life right now. It's an occurrence. Something is happening. And we don't want to make the mistake of saying, it's my life, when it's just an event. Now notice this. There are some foreclosures. That's just an event. There are some repossessions, just an event. Now let's go huge. It might even be a death. It's a big event. I did say event, right? Or an occurrence, it's a death. Now, just like the Super Bowl, depending on how big the situation is, determines how long after it would take to clean up or to get back to regular. Just like a vacation, an event, or a tragic event, it might not be nice at the moment. But remember, if you give it a little bit of time, things will go back to normal. Don't say my life is in shambles. Don't say that my life is over. Don't say that my life is just a mess. Just say I'm going through an event or an occurrence. And given a little bit of time, some events take longer than others to get back to normal. But rest assured that you will get back to normal. Now, when I make these statements, I have to I have to bag it up with Bible. In Romans the eighth chapter, I think it's the eighteenth verse. It says, "For I reckon that the suffering sufferings of this present time is not to be compared to the glory that's going to be revealed what is it saying it says that you got an event happening right now you got an occurrence that's happening right now but it ain't your life it's just happening right now now we always say this that that the best is yet to come that's a great statement but if you're saying the best is yet to come it means that the worst is still here did you get that? If you're saying the best is yet, you're speaking that the worst is still here. Well, I say this, that is in your mouth. And you should say the best is now. So can you say that with me? The best is now. I've been through some major events. 
but it ain't my life. God didn't say my life would be like this. He says that the sufferings of this present time is not to be compared to the glory that's about to happen now. Why is this going to happen now? It's because I'm speaking it now. And the power of life and death is in my tongue. So I'm speaking life. Yeah, I'm speaking life to you because you are the blessed person. You are the possessor of the blessing. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not. Pastor G is out.